Hello, uh, only me. Um, I've just tried my hand at uh, some <laughs> electronics and, uh, well, to say the least, it didn't go as tidy as I would have wanted it to. But it did, uh, it, it does work none the, nonetheless. Uh, on the left is the battery voltage and it's hovering around 20 volts. And on the right is the voltage coming out of my electronics, which is 12 volts. So I am thrilled. Uh, let's take you off the tripod. And have a closer look. In there is a voltage regulator, um, 12 volt, volt, 12 volt voltage regulator, um, heatsink, and three capacitors. Um, on the left, if we've got the light, is a um, 10 microfarad uh, capacitor, 35 volt. Um, that's on the power coming in, the supply coming in, the live and ground. Uh, on the right hand side you see the smaller capacitor which is also a 10 microfarad capacitor which is uh, 16 volt. And on the back is a 0.1 nanofarad. Uh, it's a very small capacitor which was also on the circuit. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to put a picture up of the circuit that I'm following but you can see we've got three wires coming out uh, live on the left, this side and, uh, oh where are we gone? and live on the right coming out and the middle is uh, like a shared ground or neutral so I'm just going to hook up a load to this and see how it goes right so I have a 10 watt 12 volt load on the on the uh, uh, little circuit See the battery voltage is 20 volts, and the output voltage is 12, well, 11.98, so 12 volts basically. <laughs> um, uh, I believe it's a 2 amp uh, capable um, voltage regulator, and uh, I have it. I, I have had it on for a little while already. I can't see quite where I'm aiming. Bear with me. Let's go around the other side. Uh, I haven't got it set up on the, on the best angle, so. About 12 degrees so far. So it's, it shouldn't be overdoing the, the chip. Um, I'm going to leave it a little bit longer and we'll see how it goes. Right, it's been about. It's been about 10 minutes. The maximum temperature I've had is 25 and the other part was uh, 15 degrees. So it's not hot, it's not getting too hot. Heat sink's doing its job. Um, other than the fact that I did neglect to put a uh, heat compound on there. Uh, it just completely slipped my mind. So I'm quite happy with this. I think um, I could do something with this. Um, to use these NICAD batteries that I have uh, loads of and uh, they're no good for the power tools because the power tools are just too powerful and being NICADs they just uh, they go <laughs> after drilling a couple of holes or cutting a couple of uh, bits of wood so um, I might be able to use these somewhere I'm going to get some more parts uh, try and make this a bit tidier get, get some boxes um, I'm waiting for some uh, proper CCTV 12 volt 1 amp uh, type connectors all right just coming up to a follow-up it's two hours later or just over two hours later it's still on which is a good sign it hasn't caught fire which is good uh, voltage is 19 point oh, doesn't really matter it's still on so the voltage coming out is 11.95 which is good more importantly the temperature wait for it wait for it 20 degrees max which is brilliant and uh, just a little bit of theory on the back of this 
which I should have mentioned earlier. Um, linear, these are linear voltage regulators and they are quite inefficient. Um, the higher the input voltage, the more heat this thing produces, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, so I did some theory into the back of this and uh, to get the wasted energy in the form of heat in watts, you take the voltage in, you take away the voltage out, so 20 minus 12 gives you 8, and then you times it by the, the current that you're drawing on the load side. The current is 0.8 amps, so 800 milliamps, so 8 times 0.8 gives you 6.4, which is watts, and that 6.4 is uh, watts of heat produced. So I'm producing just over half, let's <laughs> this, this, this just add it up for, for the sake of it, um, 10 watts being used there, 6.4 watts being used there, so just over a third of what I'm using is actually being wasted as heat, uh, just for your information. Uh, there's lots of sources out there, as I say, I, I don't pretend to be, well, oh, that's done it. I don't pretend to be an expert on this sort of thing. Um, let's just dismantle this. And um, this is what I've done with it. But there's other tutorials out there which are a little bit better than mine. Um, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.